Hello, this is Math Jazz from Almost Cool, and I'm here with Swarmlord. Hello. And Diarmood. Hey, everybody. This is episode 52, the final episode of Stellaris Season 1. Well, maybe. Well, well, maybe. There might be one more, depending on how this war goes. And how bad, uh, our, and how bad our lag is. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm, I'm calling it now. This has got to be the last episode, based on how the war is going. So don't let they fall into our trap. If, if if we don't end the war in this episode, then this is the last episode, and the next one is a bonus episode. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be like bonus features on a Blu-ray. Yep. This is the good ending. This is the good ending. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you see that one from Blu-rays to video games. Oh uh, yeah. Looks this like... is the cliffhanger hanging, and this is how it really ends. <laughs> okay so oh and the game has started okay yeah i unpaused it because great they're still trying to go after the transport fleet nine unless anyone else has a transport fleet nine um i do not i, I have 11 and 12 i don't have that any be, that is mine yep i don't have any transport fleets at the moment so none of so i don't have a transport fleet nine so yeah they are going after diarmut's transport fleet and my fleet is, like, right there. They will jump in, and I will shoot them. They will die. They will su they will suffer and burn for their transgression. Yep, their transgression of existing. <laughs> no, for running away from you. If they had faced their honorable death, they wouldn't have had to have been let lured into a trap. Wait, wait, this is something that... No, think, Are they transporting person? somewhere? Yeah, they're currently going after Diarmut's fleet. So they is did it, it like they jumped. They is jumped. it like pink when they're leaving? Where did they jump? They jumped into the, into the right system. Oh my gosh, I'm wrecking them! So everyone, that was a spoiler, but watch as they come. Okay, I th <laughs> okay, maybe I'm not absolutely wrecking them, but they have no more escort ships. They're all battle cruisers now. And they were in range of most of my weaponry right from the get-go. Yeah, me. you were well positioned. Yeah, because I, I I figured out how how jumping works. It it, it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what the, it, all that matters is what direction from the system you were. It doesn't matter where in the other system you were. It only matters what the position of where they are. So since that's it, good to know. Yeah. So you just have to know where that position where that position is. There goes another. There goes another pair of their battle cruisers. Yeah, you're a few, you're gonna be a few days behind, but I can't stop. I'm not gonna stop watching this. Oh my gosh, they're getting wrecked. Because I, I have count ten cruisers right now. One, four, five, six, seven. I'm down to seven on my uh, a little bit ahead. So, and the other thing is. Other thing is also all my cruisers and all my and all my battleships. So that's that's over forty ships with with particle lances. And the other that's one's still awesome. following the transport fleet. Yep. So they're gonna it just jump right in on top of that on the top of that battle. There goes several more. There goes a couple more battle cruisers. <laughs> One of their fleets is gone. It was the smallest of those fleets, but it's gone. And another one is down to two battle cruisers. There goes another. And all their escorts are dead again. Oh man, the lag is so real. There's so much lag. But it is so worth it. Come on. Because once this fleet is gone, actually, that is pretty much the end of the war right there. Yeah. I mean, they have their military stations, but they literally cannot... They literally cannot win. Because they won't rebuild their ships.
Uh, I see they're down to five. They're down to five. I can just hear Break. the dramatic music in the background. Two. Two ships. They're not even retreating. I don't think they can retreat. They're down to one battle cruiser. Did I? How many ships did I? They're they're they're, they're dead. And I only I only lost five Corvettes in that fight. <laughs> nice. That was it. Five Corvettes. That only gave us five points on the uh, on the meter, but that we won. Fantastic. And that's the last battle cruiser for me. Okay. Yep. So with that we've won we've won this war. They unofficially won this war. Unofficially, yeah. They have no ships left. So which uh where are we going next? Like now is the time to start. I'm gonna bombarding. go and, I'm gonna go and invade their homeworld now. Okay, I'm gonna send my ships there too then. I will be within the next few seconds. Yep, I mean, oh, I'm wait, st <laughs> I'm still scanning debris from the ba from when I first cleared them out. I'm gonna need to build a. Uh... Let's see. Wormhole generator. No, you yeah. should. Oh wait, no, I have one. Yeah, you built. You were building. You were building it while the fleets were getting smashed apart. That's fantastic. Okay, so, and my two transport fleets are going in for invasion. They'll probably get there after you, but that's fine because I don't think I can take them out without some sort of bombardment happening. Yeah, and I oh. Uh... My ship is my ships literally only have one jump to get there. Yeah. Whereas you need a jump. Oh, you do you need to make a pair of jumps to get there? I think I have to make two jumps to get there. Yeah. So mine should get there before yours. Mine are already. Mine are. Well, not my transport ships, but my uh, fleet is almost some, there. My transport ships are wedge are heading are heading there. Fantastic. The mistake. I love it. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. And actually, if you looked at the third one, you have... If, if you ever managed to get in, into the... Uh, look in the home system of the... Uh, of the... Uh, the military isolationist, huh? you can zoom in on their, on their home world, and you can actually hover over the various planets, and you can see what they're called. Even the care of planets that aren't... Um, the Vunakun successor state? Yeah, go to their home system, and then, like, zoom in on that little cor corner. Their home world is called Cradle, with two other colonizable worlds right next door called Brother and Brother Mother. Brother and Mother, that's fantastic. They have another planet that's, like, broken that's called Sister, and they're all around this big old gas giant that's called Skyfather. <laughs> they get they give they give all the all these fallen empires colony established little extra all, all this little extra um personality just or little extra historical personality it's sad that sister has been blown up <laughs> well it's everybody's dream <laughs> well only yours cuz you have like four of them I have three good sirs. Oh. Only two of them are evil. Well, I guess one of them is also mine. Oh, yeah, that's right. I, were you including yours? No, I wasn't. I just wasn't bothering to count. I stuck a number out there. Nah. But... Let's see. Uh... My fleet will be there now. My fleet has arrived. 
and they aren't doing anything. Move, gosh dang you. Yeah, so I've already, so I don't know if I've mentioned it to everyone, but I've already played a bit of the 1.3 update. I, I started a single player for some testing purposes. I will say this, combat moves a lot faster. It's a lot smoother, and you don't have to worry about these huge bunching up moments where it's like the fleet starts going out to the side before it starts moving forward. At least, okay, I'm not 100% sure, but they definitely sped up combat. So it takes place at more normal speeds. That's that's wonderful. It doesn't mm -hmm. it doesn't slow down when when combat starts anymore. Here's your fleet. And then if you notice my my science ships are still in the system scanning all the debris. I mean, seriously, holy crap. They've been scanning ever since... They literally were started... They literally came into the system and started scanning as soon as I... As soon as I made... As soon as I broke into the system. They were scanning before I cleared out the area over their homeworld. You know what that means? What? Evidently, location was key. Why do they have to scan so much? Well, part of the problem is that only one of them actually gets progress at a time with the current setup, which is fixed in 1.3. Um, but yeah, so it it takes so it takes the spot of uh, your social research, right? Uh, engineering in this case, but yes. Oh. Okay. And only one of them can do it at a time, so. So it's just going really slow because only one of them is actually actively getting progress on the scanning at a time. And just the fact that there was so much that I wanted to scan in this system, well, that's, it's just been going on for a while. Whoa, I did not know that. I also wanted to have that one. I mean, I've just been gaining progress on, on like, hyper shields. Oh, wait, no, I don't need Tachyon Lances. Why did I have him go and... Oh, uh, whatever. That's going to be the last thing he does anyway, so... And we'll probably, we probably won't get to that before we end the episode. Probably not. So, do we want to call the series here, then, because we beat their fleet? I yeah. say, uh, let's actually try to finish the war. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, we're definitely going to try to finish the war, but we only have limited time today to record. Right. I we have, let's just, let's just we have 16 the minutes. The In 16 yeah, minutes, we'll see if we can have the war ended. I mean, if we're really close, then I'd just say let's just take the time to finish it off. Make this a longer one if we have to. But yeah, right now we have a negative 29, even if we wanted a white piece. Negative 29. Okay, I think... Actually, let me see. What are their armies at? Actually, they don't have any of their... They don't have any of their... Um, of their... Of their... Really strong armies down there. They don't have any of their gene warrior armies. On the on that system, which, which means we only have to deal with the basic, the basic armies. That means actually, math. Your fleet, your your armies actually could be would be enough once I get there and start bombarding. That's good to hear. Uh. It's taking a while. At least for the lag to get there. Yeah, at least the lag is definitely a little bit better than it was. I think. Hope.
I was going to say, why is that man Jedi leaving? He's leaving for a pristine jewel. He's leaving for a Gaia world. Of course he would leave for a Gaia world. Why wouldn't someone leave to go live on a Gaia world? What is a Rufari science ship doing all the way over there? I see a, there's a Rufari science ship down south of the Telecar Enclave. Huh. Wow. He's a long way from home. Wonder which direction it traveled to get there. Probably through our territory. I huh. I have open I have open borders with him, so Okay. Wait, what? I thought the Rufari... Uh? So, I could have sworn that the, uh, that the, it was the Jogawa hierarchy that had the, uh, fanatical purifier vassal. Mm-hmm. But now that, that same guy is said to be a, a vassal under the Rufari. Did the Rufari win a war? I... Don't... Or get a really good trade deal? I don't know. I don't know what happened. Uh, it's taking so long. It's lag. It's so much lag. Yeah, I think that we're gonna have, uh... The next series, we're going to try running off of my computer, your computer instead of your, yours. Your computer and your wired internet connection rather than my wireless. Yeah. Here's a oh. Newer. So let's see. So today is... Um, well, this week is National Chemistry Week. So... That'll date it. <laughs> Love it. Go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> This week is National Chemistry Week, and so I am going to see the Chemistry Department's Chemical Magic Show tonight after we record. Cool. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I watch it most years, because chemistry is pretty cool. It's funny, because some of the professors, you could tell they're like, just natural, um, natural, what is it called? Showman. Performers. Yeah, Perform natural showmen. And they, uh, they just do so well on the stage doing their chemical magic show. And some of the professors are super uncomfortable doing it. And they basically, like, try not to make eye contact with the audience and <laughs> basically ignore the audience while they're doing their chemistry demonstrations. And... Both ways are fun in their own right. Uh, both, both the really proficient showman professors and the very uncomfortable non-showman professors are fun to watch. So. My fleet is almost in orbit. My fleet is has entered orbit. They are bombarding the planet. They'll be doing over 100 damage a day, so that means it will be real. They should be real fast before. It shouldn't be too long before. Uh... Okay, I still don't see it. Yeah, but... it, it'll be a little bit, but because you're you're a few days behind still. Yeah. Okay. Just started first blood. Okay. Oh, one of my, and there's one of my uh, transport fleets. I've got 17 assault armies and five psionic armies, with another two psionic armies on the way. I wonder why it's called the mistake. I 
that would like, be... think about this. If you were a race of whatever these hippies are, um, spiritualistic and whatever they're hippies, spiritualistic roaches, spiritualistic roaches. That's new. No, they're literally they literally look like giant cockroaches. Yeah, they do. Anyway. Um, why would you call... Okay, so they call the place where they live the uh, Celestial, Celestial throne. throne, and then they call the moon that goes around it... A mistake. Um, the mistake, yeah. My best guess is that, it was, is that something happened after they hit the Space Age. They screwed it up royally. That's what I think. They did, I mean... They did. I'm guessing they did something that made it look like that, that made it fall to pieces. Okay, come on. Hey, we're at negative three now. Yep. Yeah, part of that is because we've uh, blockaded their ho we blockaded their homeworld. Mm -hmm. So, so the war score has gone a little has gotten a little more even. Um. And again, it won't take it uh, unless they somehow manage to invade one of our worlds, which shouldn't be possible considering that the AI that. All my world will defend its home world before it does anything else. Well, the AI builds at least a level one space station on it, on it around every planet, as far as I'm aware. Currently, um, and every planet that I have direct control over has a has a space station, which means none of the armies can actually land, and they don't have any military vessels. This means that they can't. That the only war score they could gain is if we went to war, is if we went and attacked their uh, their space stations and lost. Which is possible, but given how much how much we can actually stick on our on our navies, and I don't think it's actually something that would happen at this. Point. Oh my gosh, there are just so many ships right around this one planet. Look at it. You have my space disruptors, plasma cannons, zero point power, shield capacitor, deuteronium materials, hyper shield. You just finished scanning some debris. Yeah. That took forever. Yeah. But it really is, uh... Debris from a fallen empire really is worth it. Oh, yeah. That's pretty awesome. You got two more to scan. So you'll get some decent percentages. And I mean, and I was going to say, I was about to say something, but I remember you already got attacking on Lance's side. Oh, you're in, you're attacking. I am. No, math is. He, uh, he started landing his troops already. Yep. I didn't see that, so my troops weren't ready to attack. My troops are now landing as well. Are you gonna land your second fleet of transport ships? Uh, yes. As soon as they get there. I think they're there. They kind of... Oh, I think they merged with the other fleet, so I'm not sure if they're all landing or if they're... Or if they're, uh... Or if part of them are going to stay in orbit. Come on. Yeah, no, all of them are landing now. Okay, yep. Yeah, I guess I guess what you were calling my second fleet is because uh, I have another set of transport ships that are flying into the system right now. I just stuck a general. I, that's, I, 
what I thought you were talking about. I just stuck a general on it, so we so our side now has a general that gives us plus five army health, plus ten army damage, and plus ten army morale. Nice. Good. Plus the fact that the planet is bombarded so badly that yeah, they're uh, they're gonna lose. I've got some psionic armies as well. The Mind Masters. They do a lot more morale damage than uh, regular damage. But... But most things have less morale hit points than regular ones. Or they have... Well... No, it's generally about equal, but when morale breaks, they don't die. Instead, what happens is more, when a morale breaks, they do, like, 90% less damage. It's, it, it like, it, it makes it significantly easier for the regular attack. Most armies do a fair amount of morale damage as well, do a decent amount of morale damage as well. But, like, psionic armies do massive amounts of morale damage. The thing is also that there are robotic armies which are completely immune to morale damage. Yeah, so broken. What, m armies' morale is low. They fight less efficiently, dealing 75% less damage. So they only do 75... So they only do 25% of their normal damage. And, like, two more days and then they and they will be dead. We'll have conquered the planet. Um, almost there. Two more armies. And, come on. Bam! On the next day, it will say that it's ours. I'm not sure who will technically be occupying it, but one of us will be occupying it. And it is being occupied by the Manjeti Assembly. And if you Yay. notice, our war score just shot up. Occupying their I'm... capital just gave us a 30... Just get, just jumped us up to positive 21. If we wanted, we could end the war with a white piece. I'm not it's saying... Not. Yeah. I'm not saying we should, but... We have, we have two more minutes. What do you think? Should we keep? Should we do one more episode and try to and try to actually end this war, or do you think that we've done enough? Um, I think that. Oh, their transports are coming in. Their transports are coming in, and they're about. They're gonna try and occupy. They're gonna try and attack the planet. Let's see. Which planet would we want to take from them if we planet? I've I'm got, heading towards Rana. I was gonna head towards the Navi system. No, I mean like, which one would you want them to cede to you? Oh. Um, the Rana or the Spica system? If I had to choose, it'd have to be one of those because those are the ones right on the air edge, which means we need another five percent war score to get that. Okay. Let's just... You said you're going over to the Navi system? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's just embark all of our fleets and go over there and take it. Um, the problem is that they're sending their, their transport fleets to come over here and try to take our... What right. kinds of... Do you know what, what kinds of th things are on those? Gene warriors. Oh... Hold on. <laughs> okay. Actually, if we gave that a little bit of time, I'd have a uh, construction ship coming in to build a military vessel, a military station in orbit. Which, in turn, would mean that... Uh, the, they, they couldn't take it because they don't have the fleet to do it. They wouldn't have They wouldn't have the fleet to do it, and anytime their transport fleets got close enough, the, the military station would attack them. Sounds good. I'm going to move my fleet off. Or sorry, not my fleet, my armies off. 
and move okay. them to Navi. Okay, then I'm going to keep my fleet here for a little while longer then. Because until I get that military station there, which requires my construction ship to get in the system and then actually build it, then I uh, don't want my... I don't want them to come and retake it just because we left. Well, if you leave... If, if someone leaves some military ships, some navy there, we can have them attack and a attack the armies and defend the construction ship. Once the construction ship is built, we could move I the entire idea. fleet over. Okay, I'll leave a pair of battleships over here. Yeah, that should be sufficient. All, all it really needs is, uh... You know, I'll, I'll go... F I'll, I'll head over to the Rana system as well. Or... The Navi system, I thought. Okay, yeah, fine, Navi. Wait, no, because Navi is a little... Because if we wanted to... Are we trying to end the war with, like, all the war goals we had? Um... We're gonna I need... think just enough to take a planet. Which one do you think Rana is better? Yeah, I've already, I'm already working on Rana, so don't worry about it too much. Okay, I'll send all of my stuff to Rana then. Yeah, let's just let, if we're gonna if we're only gonna do one planet anyway, let's just focus on one planet. So I'll send my fleet there as well. Well, how much more do we need to for them to surrender? Five points. Then yeah, definitely one will do it. <laughs> Basically, the the only thing, the only reason that I want to take a planet is because if we did a white piece right now, then the war would end without the borders having changed. Mm -hmm. Um. So where we we were at two minutes a few minutes a little bit ago. We are at say, minus this... two minutes. That's okay. We'll just we'll just go until we take one more planet. And then after we take that planet, we'll end the war, and it'll be able. We'll we'll let um. It's it's gonna take a while though. Swarm with, with the lag. The That's right. Yeah, but it's not gonna take another whole half hour. But it will take. Yeah. But, it, but I mean, do we really want to put on possibly another fifteen minutes onto a vi onto the video just because we were we didn't want to cut it. Up to you. Okay, let's do white piece. Sure. Yep. Okay. I'm on. Uh. Okay. I sent it. It's got to switch day before they actually. Got to switch a day at least. Come on. I offered white piece. Apparently, it's taking them a couple days. There it goes. They accepted white peace. So we went to war with the Telekar Enclave. And came no! out. No! What? My ship, my ship went missing in action. All my ships are being told to get out. They have a mi What? They have a fleet now? Why do they suddenly have a fleet? Because they're fallen empires. They cheat. That has to be it, because they because they have. All right, all right. Well, let's finish. Let's finish up this season. Alrighty. Then, math, if you would take us out. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this season of Stellaris. We've learned a lot about. Well, I've learned a lot about this game while playing this to. and making this season. And uh, I look forward to next season where I shouldn't be quite as useless to Agreed. everyone. Just remember, anyway. we, we, will, we will be relearning a bit of how to play the game. That's true, but I, I hardly think that it's going to be... As a um, crash course. Yes. But this has been really fun, and I am going to miss my little mushroom people. So, well, bye, pretty... Minjetti and Minjetti Assembly. Goodbye, Imperial. Fare thee you, well. you have been a mean slavery people. <laughs> and we will say farewell to this iteration of the Church of Larangia. Who I think this was the strongest version I've played of them set so far. <laughs> Goodbye. Alright. Alright, alright, I'll follow us. We'll see you guys next time. Farewell.